hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys they are now starting to cannibalize themselves as we knew they would so with that guys i bring you this emia sanusi was sure buhari will die in london asked oshibanjo to make him vice president and it's a junaid mohammed making this allegation so that's the headline emia sanusi was sure buhari will die in london asked oshibanjo to make him vice president and it's a junaid mohammed that is being credited with this headline so now let's now see what the northerner has to say a second republic parliamentarian junaid mohammed has alleged that the emir of kano mohammed sanusi ii lobbied to be vice president to professor yemi oshibanjo when president muhammad buhari was on sick leave in the united kingdom speaking in an interview Mohammed said Sanusi told the then acting president Oshibanjo to consider him for the VP in the event that Buhari dies. Recall that President Buhari spent several months in London in 2017 on a sick leave for an undisclosed ailment. Mohammed said once Buhari was sick, very sick in England, he went to Oshibanjo, this current Emir Sanusi, he was sure that Buhari was going to die. And if Buhari dies, he would like Oshibanjo to consider him as vice president, even though on the surface he belonged to no party. He wanted Oshibanjo to consider him as vice president. Now, anybody with any sense of logic, any sanity, would not countenance this kind of a thing. If, for whatever reason, this issue was reported to Buhari, if Buhari was another leader, he would have got rid of him in a jiffy. I know for a fact, and I am glad that there are people involved who will now confirm. The Emir of Kano, when he was governor of Central Bank, went to see my friend Bola Tinobu and went to see the current uh, Oba of Lagos, Oba Real Man Akiolu telling them that a certain presidential candidate was actually the choice of Kano and the choice of the North. So he would want them to support that person. The Oba was diplomatic, but Tinobu told him in no uncertain terms that we are supporting Buhari not because we like his face, we are supporting Buhari because consistently he has scored 12 million votes since he came into politics in 2002. This is not the first time. I am now 70 years old. I am older than the Emir of Kano, who I have known since childhood. I knew his father and his mother so like i said they are now starting to cannibalize themselves because this junaid mohammed of course is a voice that constantly recalls from the north but i think is more right of center is a right-wing guy from the northern uh, hemisphere so really you have to look at his comments in that vein because he's a real right wing right wing extremist but nevertheless he is now coming out to weigh against uh, the Emir of Kano Sanusi Lamido Sanusi and of course is law is all coming at Sanusi from all quarters you will recall that uh Abdullah Ganduje has now been confirmed by the Supreme Court as the governor of a Kano state. So now he's going to get it, that is Sanusi, he's going to get it for the next four years from uh, that uh, Ganduje guy. If that Ganduje does not succeed in removing him, and there's a very good chance that uh, Ganduje uh, is going to remove him because he is set to remove him from all of his activities it is uh pretty clear that it's headed in that direction so where uh, sanusi would now get protection would to be from aso rock voices now echoing what they are insisting at the sentiment of um aso rock are telling him effectively do not come near us because we do not trust you because of course this guy now is speaking to the sentiment that he perceives. I'm not saying he's speaking on behalf of Malam Buhari, but certainly he's speaking to his perception of uh, Malam Buhari's sentiment. So they can decode that within their region, but the voters are certainly circling around uh, Lamido Sanusi. There's absolutely no question about that. And the next four years is going to be a real uh, fasting your seatbelt uh, uh, adventure for him, a, a real journey for him. Conversations in the comment section, they are starting to cannibalize themselves. What says you? 
what do you uh, reckon with this uh, particular narrative that this Junaid Mohammed has uh, brought to the fore? Do you believe it uh, first? And if you do believe it, what is your take on it? Let's have a conversation around all this in the comment section. But before we do that, click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come tell me what you are making of what this guy said in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry on with you in the comment section. But here... I say, peace.